hello guys i want to welcome all of you and um let's look at some question today very important question today um this this is a question that i do get often all right both in my dms and also in uh, the comment section all right let's look at the question it says um please what skills do you suggest for me i am 43 years old all right forget about the fact that it's 43 years old the question i think would be what type of skills do you i suggest for you all right to be effective or to be relevant in the digital space or in the remote working space all right i think uh, before i answer this question all right i think it's very important that when you chance on my video especially the video that hooked you into my content i believe it's very important to check my playlist and watch uh, these two videos type of data skills needed i mean i talked about hard skills i talked about soft skills <clears throat> i talked about physical and data skills i believe it's very important to watch that video those videos it will set the right tone or to prepare your mind for you to follow the kind of conversations that we have here all right so back to the question what type of skills do you need all right do i suggest for you in order for you to land a remote job okay is one difficult question to answer also one simple question to answer why do i say so all right it's simple and easy to answer because i can just go ahead and tell you to or oh, do data analysis do uh cyber security do uh, machine learning do ai all right uh do um how do you call it um data science i can name some questions i'm uh, sorry i can name some topics or job skills for you to i mean like uh, acquire all right so it's pretty much easy to answer and i can easily do it straightforward but it's also a difficult question to answer because of these two major factors that i want to share with you number one is interest and number two is motivation so what is really motivating you let's get to the motivation part all right what is actually motivating you i believe when you watched my first video all right my popular video all right that i termed ghanians don't like to learn or ghanians don't like learning i mean that video all right i believe something moved you all right to take action i mean something propelled you or provoked you to take a certain action all right and um I think a lot of people watch that video because I'm, I'm saying this based on the comments and the DMs I've been getting. A lot of people really got struck by the fact that there is, I, I said there's a possibility to make money online or there's a possibility to earn remotely or to work remotely. So when they come to my DM, they just go straight to the point. Please show me how to make money online. So please show me how to get a remote job, all right? I hardly get people to ask me how do i get the skills all right it's it's it's, it's an unusual question like, well, how do i get the skills to get remote jobs i don't get people so ghanians like to go straight forward how do i get a job how do i make money online that's fine all right but um as i said too many two major factors one is motivation so i think most people are motivated by money all right for instance i got into this remote uh workspace because of money and also freedom all right freedom to move around really freedom to work wherever i want to and also freedom to make money and earn some foreign exchange all right so i think for me it was a huge motivation number one being my number two uh, being um having the time or having the luxury of of of, of space all right that mobility uh being able to go anywhere in the world or move around my city regardless of the location but um since i have that skill i have that hard skill i mean i can work effectively without actually thinking of location all right so for me that was my motivation okay but let me share this very funny story with you i think i've talked about it before but let me say it again okay so right after national service i had the opportunity to work for a company i believe i was one of the uh, few ghanians to get job right after national service okay so right after national service i worked for a company and um, that company pretty much was highly political so it wasn't a surprise that some few years it, it had to collapse all right when government switched all right so after the collapse of the company i had some small money i said to get into crypto through a friend and um, invest in cryptos and all that it was really good uh, but at a point you know men sometimes love to explore i got into machinery and that became my i mean that pretty much was my he, he kills heels all right 
it's it's brought me down okay so um after that machinery saga i got into boats all right i started doing boats or uber all right and uber and one day um i took a passenger i mean i encountered a lot of rude passengers very rude and for someone who at least i've seen some things and driving someone just i mean some rude people uncultured people i'm not saying all passengers are like that but some passengers can be very rude to drivers because probably they have this notion that when you drive boats you 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 are useless you don't you you are not schooled you are not educated if if you have something better doing with your life i'm not sure you'll be doing boats that's the kind of notion forgetting that they themselves are unemployed all right they don't just just the fact you are driving them you are cruising them and they've been at the back seats they can command you right so i remember i took one guy who i mean that was actually the last straw that broke my back all right he acted extremely rude with the girlfriend so i decided that hey hell no i mean i i I walked them out of the car and i came home and i asked myself hey like i have the skill i have good skills i'm someone who thank god was exposed to the internet very early in life all right very young so i have that skill to i mean i just need to learn something the certificate has failed me all right so i think i have to look for an alternative we are talking about a society in ghana right we are the, we are graduating 200,000 people every year and out of the 200,000 people only 10 percent are absorbed in the job market all right and the following year another 200,000 will come and roll over so i mean you are competing for i mean so if you are competing for an and non-existent jobs all right i'm not saying if you have the degree or you have the masters you won't get a job but this is the reality that you are likely to face okay so yeah that is why you have you see people paying money to get employment to paying people for connection just to get a job it doesn't make sense but that's the kind of reality we face i face so i told myself that hey i can't do this anymore i just need to find a way i have family to, to take care of i need to find a way out of this all right so um i decided to take some data uh, skill courses all right so um i just started my first course was data analysis all right so i got into data analysis and guess what i was doing that course just because i wanted money i heard that it was one course that if you're able to complete and you are effective with it you can easily land a job all right or you can easily make money all right or you can easily get kicks all right so on that premise alone I decided to do that course i did that course i did it i did it very diligently i was so much into it i did it quite well right after it i was lucky enough to get a job get some gigs i started doing some gigs here and there and finally had a job and uh, one thing led to another one opportunity came another came and here we are thank god all right here we are all right so that my first motivation was a com in a commism like i needed to have family to take care of i have to like i i i I had no choice and there were no opportunity here in Ghana, right? And I was lucky enough to get into crypto space at a point. So I realized uh, after doing some courses on blockchain, I realized, I mean, the online is getting interesting and there are so many opportunities to take from there, all right? So yeah, I got in and here I am, thank God, all right? So that was my motivation. The question I want to ask you is, what is your motivation? I does not motivate you. I mean, what is motivating you to want to get to remote jobs all right do you want to switch from fiscal job to remote workspace because you need freedom to stay home and work one interesting thing about remote job is i mean it's demanding it demands energy it demands some serious level of thinking because no one because it it, it comes with little supervision all right and no white person or no black person abroad all right no company would want to employ someone and just pay them all right we work with task and kpi key performance indicators i mean you do something and um, i mean you 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 complete a task they give you job to do you wake up in the morning you check your jara or you check your asana or you check whatever management system you are using and you see that the tax are there for you to fulfill all right and it's not a task that anyone can do it unless you have the right skill to be able to execute it all right so for a remote job is result oriented result oriented it's not like our jobs or our setting in ghana where you can just go to the office and put your leg on the table because you have degree you i have degree and you get a banyan juma and you are working anyhow whether there is result or there's no result um unlike i mean for that 
you you sh- you feel that you are able you are capable to bring certain things to the table to turn your skill to a certain result all right so it's purely result based all right so for 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 remote uh, workspace or data workspace okay so now let's talk about interest i was able to get into this data space because i already had an interest all right i was lucky and blessed enough to grow up in the neighborhood where the case there was quite were quite exposed digitally all right in the early days of internet i remember i was very young not even a teenager when i opened my email and i'm talking about 1999 to early 2000 all right that's where i created my first email so my email is older than a lot of you actually all right so um i mean I was lucky to have been in a neighborhood where the children or the kids there were exposed. So, we, we, if you are, if you, if you, if you know me, all right, if you are watching me, you know me, you can attest to this. To a case who lived around uh, and Najit had this school down, we we're much exposed basketball, games, computer, cafe, browse. I mean, we we're quite exposed early, all right. So, that children in that particular neighborhood, neighborhood, a lot of them work in the tech space. Those are broad. A lot of work, them work in the tech space, okay? Because of the environment that, thank God, we, we grew in, all right? So we're lucky enough to have that environment and that interest was built uh, from that, all right? So for me, I didn't struggle. I, was, I wasn't real, forced real into tech, all right? Or to net, so in the, in the data space, all right? It's something that I grew, I saw it happening and I had interest in it right from the word go right from childhood okay so that 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 would be different from you all right imagine someone who is not so much enthused all right so much fascinated about text and tech and all that and you want to get into remote or data space all right you would have to do some online and real and you have to have you have to do a deliberate switching okay so if you have that motivation and there's no interest there you you just struggle all right you need to build interest from somewhere okay that's why I always recommend people that, um, for me, I would rather like to answer this question. I rather say check the top ten high paying data skills. All right, then as you see them or once you've seen them, you just go to YouTube, YouTube and learn, watch videos about them, or watch multiple videos of them or about them, and through that you'll be able to identify which one. I mean, you connect with. All right, you have that passion or something. I mean, you have that soft spot for. All right, and follow. Okay, so. It's not all, always about money. I remember when I did the data analysis, at a point, I realized that um, I, I was struggling, all right? Struggling because the interest I had to, I had to, I did that course because I needed to survive. I needed to get jo- a job to do, all right? So once I had that, I have to always keep up, you know, that kind of thing. I have to do some things to just keep up. But i love marketing i remember when i was 17 years i worked with a company called casapa those of you who know about casapa casapa to at that time i worked as a salesperson one of their younger sales youngest sales guys at that time all right so i built interest in sales and marketing from that time so i always tell parents if you are watching me and you are parent look let me tell you this it's very good and very important that if your child finishes high school all right get them some attention to do don't just quickly enroll them in university let them to allow them to experience life all right give them a taste of life to build a certain character or to build a certain interest like on the OEA school now oh our friend maybe a school i'm going to know that there's that there is a stigma out there that when you complete school and you don't go to university immediately it means you didn't pass all right so there's this rush that we invest after ss or after high school go to university all right but that helped me it was a blessing to stay home for a while and and work all right it's really built a certain character so i think it's very important so i would say that uh, where, where, where were we <laughs> all right so yeah um interest i think is very important to have that interest if you don't have that interest or you get into it you'll struggle all right but i also believe that motivation can break through every walls all right if your motivation um is um to make money whichever way at all costs all right and you don't want to do your way you don't want to go the bad route and you want to make money genuinely i mean whatever obstacle is in front of you you can break it down trust me i mean for me that's how i that's what i believe and that's how i see things when i need to get something if something is becoming a barrier i mean it frustrates me and become my 
target my number one target i will fight you till we are both that all right you see that you give up or i give up that is how i do my things all right so and i think it's it's a mindset okay if you have that mindset it's going to help you a lot so if you have higher i mean you have some kind of highly inflammable fuel <laughs> influencing your motivation i think your interest wouldn't matter right but you are kind of lay low you are relaxed you just want to switch you need money but not so bad you just want to experience the dicta or the tech space and i think it's cool i mean like just hey, f- try to pick or search for interest and do course because some course can be hectic like for doing data science it demands a lot of um how to call it a lot of um sacrifice demands a lot of um oh the word is not coming you need to just commit all right to learning it all right learn statistics if you are not good at math if you want to do computer engineering you need to commit like learning programming language you need to just tune your i mean so many sacrifice and uh commitment needs to be put into if you want to get that skills all right so yeah let's not make this conversation boring to answer this question the question of what type of skills would that do i recommend for you yeah i can a lot of the task skills said cyber security data science data analysis machine learning deep learning computer uh, engineering even under it we have different types of uh the, the program language java uh, how do you call it um, css plus um python solidity so many things to learn all right so many things so but the thing is you need to build your own interest all right your motivation needs to fuel the whole thing and you have to have a certain interest other than that you start making the money but you'll be you forced to switch like i did at a point i needed to just switch from data analysis to marketing all right so i started off with data marketing and now that's what i am fully operating under all right so it's very important that um if you want to get into tech space get some i mean i i've done i mean like it's very it's very important and good to be versatile but be a master of one thing, all right? Like, be a master. I can do a little bit of so many things, all right? I can do a little bit of coding. I can do a little bit of, uh, I can do much data analysis. I can do more of content marketing. I can do more of, how do you call it, data marketing in general, all right? So be a jack of many trades, but a master of one okay so yeah that is how i would i would love to answer if you think that i didn't answer to your satisfaction just dm me just comment just i mean like approach me for those of you my viewers who dm me every time you, you know me right i respond any time i can when i can all right sometimes we delay but the rest i show i would respond to you so guys if you think this video was uh, a benefit to you you know what to do just make sure that you follow and like this video and you share it to your peers all right so thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye